In this video, you will see how existing customers who are upgrading to CAPPM 15.2 can populate data in the resource management views of the new UX. Before upgrading customers can use the new resource management views in the new UX, they need to set up the data. This is done by running new jobs in the classic UI. Populate Resource Management Curves is one of these new jobs. As you can see in the description column, this job provides a one-time population of the resource data for upgrading customers. This job needs to be activated by your system administrators before it will be available in the jobs list. There are no parameters to be set. You just need to run the job. Next, you need to assign rights to access the resources page in the new UX. This is the Global Access Rights page for the admin user. We have filtered this page to show two resource navigate rights. The first one applies to the resource management pages in the classic UI. The second is the new access right that has been added to assign access to the resources page in the new UX. The description explains that, just as it is for the classic UI, users require access rights to view and edit investments and book roles and resources if they need to be able to update the resource allocations in the new UX. So let's look at the new UX resource management pages. We will log in as the admin user. There is a menu link for the resources page. Notice the message. New installations of CAPPM will not have this message. It indicates that there are mixed bookings in the classic UI. Mixed bookings are not supported in the new UX. You can still analyze the bookings in the new UX, but cannot update them while mixed bookings exist. A new job has been created to help you remove mixed bookings. Let's review the mixed bookings. First, the setting that allows mixed bookings. This is on the Project Management Settings page of the Administration menu. Notice the option is Read Only. This confirms that mixed bookings exist. Mixed bookings identify where the soft and hard booking amounts do not match. In a formal resource booking environment, this could mean that the investment manager and resource managers are not in agreement with the allocated amount. It is worth reviewing these potential issues. You can see them on the Resource Planning Bookings Portlet. Here we have filtered the portlet to only show mixed bookings. You can choose to discuss each issue with the investment manager and resource manager and then either get them to manually make the updates or you can run a job to make the updates for you. We have returned to the job page. The Convert Mixed Booking Status job, as its description says, converts the mixed allocations and then deactivates the option that allows mixed bookings. Note, this job only works on unlocked investments. This job needs to be activated by your system administrators before it will be available in the jobs list. When the job is run, you select a target booking status of either soft or hard booked. When the job has run, there should be no more mixed bookings. You need to verify this just in case there are still mixed bookings on locked investments. Returning to the Project Management Settings page, you see that the Allow Mixed Bookings field is not checked. This confirms that all mixed bookings have been removed. You can now review data in the new UX. You need to log in again and click the Resources link. The Resources page no longer shows the mixed bookings message and, rights permitting, the allocation data is now editable. Thank you for watching this video. For more detailed information about CAPPM, click on the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there you can go to product documentation, visit CA communities, or see the learning path.